Hi Aquarius! Happy New Year! I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for the year of 2015 and for January 2015. I received many requests from people asking me to do a card reading for the year and I thought but every reading I do, they talk about all the different months of the year. So it is a little challenging because I feel like my guides like the way they normally do it. But I have been trying. So hopefully you will um, feel that this brought you some good messages. I decided to divide the year up by the four quarters of the year and then pull an additional card for the month of January. At the end of the reading, to conclude the reading, I have pulled a card for you from the Angels, Gods, and Goddesses deck for that yearly message as well. So, the first card you have in your reading today, Aquarius, for the first quarter of the year, which is January, February, and March, you have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups to me is a celebration. This could be you attending celebrations and gatherings, or it can be a celebratory conclusion to something that has been going on in your life. I hear the times abiding your time is over. Now it is time to act and to move forward. I feel that you've been really given a lot to think about over the last few months and now things are starting to gel, come together, and be brought into fruition. I feel that you're kind of riding high on life a little bit right now, Aquarius. I think uh, for you some of uh, the things that you've been hoping for and wanting to see come into your life are starting to happen. I'm seeing sunny skies for you. So that's good news, Aquarius. I'm happy for you that things seem to be starting off on a high note for this new year of 2015. And really, I hear that you have a lot going on right now, and try not to get yourself into any position where you're doing any start something and stop. No stalling, they're saying. That's not going to do you any good right now. So uh, push forward with your plans of what you're doing, and try not to stall and then pick them up again. You need to keep the momentum going. I also hear that many people are starting to come around to your way of thinking and are starting to see things very similarly to the way you see them. Even though they want you to push forward, however, they want you to not stumble over details, like to take time in some regards with going over details, like push ahead but be careful in reviewing things, especially anything that would have any legalities attached to it. Any contracts, anything that you need to sign, any paperwork um, that could have your name or a business name attached to it uh, that's connected to you. Make sure you read all the fine print and all the details and maybe have them reviewed by a lawyer because I am getting that you need to push forward but don't take the details for granted. It's very important now. And I feel a lot of you are generating some community spirit like, um, and a lot of buzz. And I, I'm getting a lot of positive vibrations heading towards you by many people in all spheres of your life. Even though they, this is supposed to be about the first quarter, they are saying September brings you things on a congratulatory note. So I feel like you're going to be getting some congratulations about something then. And I hear for the first quarter of the year, you really need to be on your toes. Don't let anybody rattle your cage or throw you off your game. You need to be very focused, move forward, driven, 
follow the details carefully, but push forward and uh, don't get distracted. Don't, you know, don't let anything or anyone throw you off. I feel the month of January may put you in a position of placement to receive gifts of cash coming from someone or coming to you somehow because I'm getting, it's like you're being positioned to receive cash. That's how they're talking about it. I actually feel that uh, some family uh, channels are going to open up and cough up some cash to you. That's how they're saying it. Wow, and even though they they don't want to be pigeonholed into following it by the yearly month-to-month -month thing, they are telling me April, May, and June, uh, you are going to be like finances and financial abundance is definitely going to be bubbling up and bubbling over and, and really heightened for you in that time frame. And you're going to be making a lot of changes to your residence or your residential property. Uh, things are going to be changed. And I feel that some of you are going to get some ideas of how you can do things differently. Differently than what you thought you were going to be doing. Some of you may actually be changing the upstairs or the second level of your home if you own a home, and I feel that's going to be a surprise for some of you because you didn't think you were going to do that. If any of you have been waiting for any grants or thinking about having to raise your home from any storms like Hurricane Sandy, I feel that even though you may be dithering back and forth about whether you're going to do it or not, I do feel you are going to raise your home. And I feel that this is going to happen sooner than you thought. I feel it may happen in April, May, and June, and it's going to happen quicker than you expected. If you thought you were going to do it later, I feel you won't. I feel those are the months where you're really going to do it. And I do feel you, this year in general, but especially in the beginning of the year, in the first quarter, you are going to be giving a lot of people a lot of emotional love and support and helping people. I'm seeing you being very altruistic and helpful to others, especially in that time frame. And what you give to the community, you are going to be receiving back tenfold. So it's definitely going to pay off for you. And I'm not saying you're doing it for the reasons of a payoff. I just feel that energetically, the universe, God, you know, source energy, whatever you want to call it, is watching what you're doing and is giving you blessings because your intentions are pure. So that's good news. And people are going to benefit and you are going to benefit as well. So I'm happy to see that for you, Aquarius. And I also get that you're going to be coming up with some brilliant ideas to move forward. So uh, you've got a lot of plans and things percolating in your mind, especially in the beginning of the year. Now, the next card that you have, which would show up in your second quarter of the year, which would be April, May, June, you have the King of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles, to me, symbolizes an Earth sign male. This would be either a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Now, the King of Pentacles is somebody that is uh, usually very good with money. He can be a little frugal, but he likes to spend his money on, on quality things. So when he does make his purchases on luxury items or necessities, he does go top drawer. I don't feel he's miserly when he spends, he spends it on quality. Um, I feel that He's a very sensitive soul, and he can get very attached to people. He has very deep emotions and feelings, and he's very good with um, being able to read people like on an empathic level, like people's feelings and emotions. He can read people pretty well. Um, he could have a problem with drinking. Sometimes this is an issue with the earth sign males uh, of, you know, King of Pentacles. It's not always the case. Um, he usually has a nice home, 
and cares about the finer things in life. If he's operating from the negative side of the earth signs, he could be prone to depression and could be the total opposite of not being good with money and just like fritter money away and uh, be a spendthrift and blow right through it. But that's not usually the case uh, in regard to the money factor. For some of you Aquarians, you're going to be tying the knot with this man. He wants stability in his life, and he wants sexuality, and I get he's tired of being alone. And I feel that you're going to get a lot of inspiration from him, and I do feel that he's also going to be giving you things. He may be giving you money, but he also may be giving you time, attention, affection, and things, like buying you nice things or buying things for you. It comes up. I feel there was something in his past where he was quite grief stricken and you uh, like somebody may have had to talk him down off a ledge at one point. I feel there was huge calamities going on in his family. So I feel in the past he's somebody that has been divorced or he's a widow. But either way, he comes up in this regard. He his family got ripped apart. It was a very destructive, unhealthy marriage and situation or the ending of it was very destructive and unhappy if he's not a love partner for you the second thing he comes in to me as is a father and if he's the father i feel that he's troubled by his wife's passing i feel he's troubled over that he takes a lot of thought uh, before he speaks and all his actions and the things he does and chooses to say or not say, I feel he's very diplomatic and judicious about when he's going to communicate and what he communicates. And I do feel that for many of you that he is the love partner coming in. I feel that you're going to have a great time with him. I feel like he's a lot of fun. He can be uh, really silly and goofy and giddy, sometimes like a kid. I feel he can tell some really funny stories. Um, I just get the sense that he's very um, interesting. Like he'll deliver a story, like he's telling you a serious story, but really by the time you get to the end of it is the most ridiculous thing that he says that it just throws you off. And, you know, Aquarians do like quirkiness and off-the-wall stuff sometimes. Not all the time, but some Aquarians are like that. And I do feel that you're going to find him to be, like, ridiculously funny and quite amusing. If he's your father, he could also be the love partner with this, too, either way. I do feel like he may have been involved with the courts, like a judge or something in the judicial system or the court system or law like those kind of things uh, circle around him for some of you he's going to think that you're very special and he's you're totally going to be the apple of his eye and he is going to kind of put you up on a pedestal Aquarius so if you're an Aquarian out there that's been looking for love and feeling like a little bit like left by the wayside and wondering when Mr. Right was going to come in, uh, for some of you, this is your Mr. Right right here. He could have some jealous ten tendencies, however, and I feel that he's going to be very wary because he really kind of got screwed over before by his ex-wife, the it's not the same for the one that's wife passed, but for the one that, uh, for this earth sign male that got divorced, his wife cheated on him and he got really hurt by that. And so he's really wary about that. He's very jealous and he may have a little bit of trust issues. And I feel for some of you, he's going to take you to special places, like take you uh, if you live in the United States or whatever country you live in, I feel he's going to take you to visit some places where there are castles. So you could be going to Scotland, uh, Wales, you could be going to England, Ireland, you know, whatever, anywhere where there's castles. Because I see him taking you 
on those kind of trips because there's something in his heritage or in his lineage that he wants to see. He wants to go somewhere and look at this. This could be Germany as well. I feel that things that are really highlighted here, I know this was the going into the second quarter of the year, but they're acting like a lot of things here go on with him and you in the month of February in, in particular. For those of you that he's a father figure, I feel like he's actually kind of like screaming out or crying out to you for help. Uh, and this could be in the in a, the financial sense. He may need some help from you financially. For those of you that he's a father figure, you may find that his house is a mess and that he's at cross purposes with each other, with himself, like in himself, where he's saying one thing, but he's doing another. So he comes up with some different things here. Like he could be this love partner that's been hurt, that's totally into you and is going to lift you up and really adore you and that you're going to travel with and have a screaming good time with. Or he comes up as the father figure that I feel is a widow and is grieving and hurting. Uh, he also could, comes up as another, he could still be connected to that, where he's a father figure that's screaming for help. He needs money, he needs finances, his house is a wreck. I feel like he's like at cross purposes with himself. He's saying one thing, he's doing another. Um, he's trying to hide some things from you. There's some deception there. He doesn't want you to think ill of him or how badly things are going. I'm getting that. And I feel that he's harboring a lot of resentment and grief and holding it in. And it's taking a toll on him uh, emotionally. I feel he may have some kind of mental thing that's kicking in now. I don't know that I want to say he's bipolar. I don't know that I want to say that. He may be starting to get, if he's elderly, he may be getting Alzheimer's or some memory loss could be coming up here for him. Uh, he could be going into depression, like going within. Like, I feel like there's some feelings in him, like he can't control himself or his actions. So, and what he's saying and doing, they're like not linking up. They're not jiving. I feel like he's getting signals from his brain. That could be why I got the cross purposes before.